Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is talk to you about the angle addition postulate. And basically what the angle addition postulate is saying is if you have two angles, um, their sum is going to equal the larger portion of the angle. And that kind of makes sense, especially when you see it. But let's kind of see where this kind of derives and where this kind of comes from. So first of all, let's kind of go back to a straight angle. Now, we know a straight angle is going to equal, let's give this a A, B, C. So we know that the, uh, the measure of a straight angle, A, B, C, is equal to 180 degrees. Now, no matter how much I cut that up, if I take another line and I break that up, okay, it doesn't matter. We still know that the sum of these two angles is still going to add up to 180 degrees. It doesn't matter, right? Because ABC did not change. Just because I threw an angle in there didn't change what the sum of ABC is. It's still 180 degrees. So what that means is that the measure of ABD plus the measure of angle um, C BD is always going to equal 180 degrees. All I did was throw in that angle D, or throw in that line, B, that ray BD, and I just cut it up. I just broke it up. So, you know, we know that's 180 degrees, and it doesn't matter, you know, this could be perfectly, right? So that's a, creates two right angles, which we know those are 90 degrees and 90 degrees, right? But what if I change this to like 91? So if this was now 91, that means this one would have to be 89 degrees, right? I mean, because they're always going to add up to 180. <clears throat> so the angle addition postulate doesn't just care for straight angles. It also makes the case for any angle. If you just have a, a nice, beautiful angle, just like this, and let's call this W, X, Y, who cares what this angle is equal to, right? This angle is equal to something. So we can just say the measure of angle, you know, W, X, Y. Whatever that angle is equal to. Now, if you throw in another line here, and then you say, well, I, what about these two angles? How are these two angles related to my larger angle, WXY? Well, they're related because the sum of these two smaller angles, which we can say measure of angle WXZ plus the measure of angle YXZ, those have to equal the sum of my larger angle. Because as you notice what I just did, I didn't change the measurement of this angle. Just like I didn't change the measurement of this angle. All I did was break it apart, right? And you know, we're technically usually going to be doing this with two angles. But you know, I could create a you know, third, or the fourth, or fifth, or sixth. I could break this up however many times I want to. But the sum of all those angles is always going to add up to the larger, uh, larger angle, the measure of the larger angle. And that's what the angle addition postulate tells us. Thanks.